What is up, YouTube? It's your homeboy, Josh, back with another RBC Avian card review. For today, we're going to be reviewing the RBC Avian Visa Platinum. So this is the card right here, and these are the rewards that you're going to be earning for this card. First is you're going to be earning up to 15,000 bonus points. It has a high point value of up to 2.33 cents. Includes 10 types of insurance, saves 3, per, 3 cents per liter on fuel at Petro Canada. So using your points is easy with this card. Choose any flight on any airline, even during peak seasons. There are going to be no blackouts and no restrictions. So the cons of using this card would be only earns 1 point per $1 spent on most purchases. But you're going to earn 1.25 points on travel. Poor rewards if not redeemed through the air travel redemption chart. So I'm going to give you an example right here. What if you were, you spend $2,000 monthly? You'll actually get 15,000 points plus $120 with that. And that translates to an estimated value of $470. Now, how do you earn rewards with this one? You're going to earn one point per $1 spent on all purchases. Okay. So the, the worth of your rewards would be as follows. Air travel redemption schedule would be around $559. Transfer to partner airlines are going to be $420. Transfers to WestJet rewards is going to be $240. Transfers to Hudson's Bay rewards is going to be $240 also. Redeem for travel through RBC rewards is again another $240. Charity donations, another $240. Merchandise will earn you $209. RBC financial products, $199. Gift cards would be around $173. And statement credits would earn you around $139 if you spend $2,000 per month. Now, talking about the eligibility and details of this card, uh, estimated credit score for this card would be 760 to 900. That's a really big number right there. Interest rates attached with this card is going to be 20.99% on purchases. Cash advances are going to be at 22.99%. Balance, balance transfer is also going to be around 22.99%. Now, the annual fees that this card incurs are $120. Extra card fee is around $50. And again, this is a credit card. Now, I have discussed all the basic important details for you. All you got to do is make a decision. But I have a few words for you so that you won't be regretting in making that decision in choosing what card to use. Basically, you just have to simply align the factors of this card, the terms and conditions, eligibility, rewards, benefits, and all the other stuff with your preferences and how you will use it. So basically, preference and the use case would be the biggest factors if you're going to decide to choose this card. So that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos. This is your homeboy, Josh. I'm going to see you on the next video.